Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to use a menstrual cup. So I'll keep this brief and just give you tips that are really really needed by a beginner to learn how to insert and remove a menstrual cup. If you want to know more about um, what is a menstrual cup and why should we use, you can watch our other older videos. So I'm going to start with a quick look at uh, female reproductive system. This diagram shows you the fallopian tubes, uterus, where the ovaries are, the cervix and the vagina. So this little opening is the cervix and this entire canal is the vaginal canal or the vagina and that's the opening of the vagina. So if you look at it from the side, um, this is our uh, urinary bladder and this is the urethra this is where we pee from and this is the uterus uh, cervix and vaginal canal and this is where we bleed from during periods so um, why I'm showing this is because a lot of women get confused that uh, if they're wearing a cup where will they pee from so when you bleed from the cervix through vagina this is where we have to insert the cup and we pee from a totally different opening so you can easily use the cup and go to the toilet you don't have to remove the cup um okay so now i'm going to show you how to insert a cup this is a little model of the female reproductive system so like we just looked at it ovaries uterus this is where all the blood gets collected it comes out this is sorry the lighting is a little yeah so this is the cervix that's where the blood comes out and uh, this is our vaginal canal so the cup needs to be inserted here to collect the blood. There are different kinds of folds that you can use to insert a cup. For example, the C fold where you fold the cup like this into a C and you insert. Or you could use the punch down fold. So where you punch like this and it becomes a narrow opening like that. And uh, then you can insert like that. So let's start. I'll show you a demo with a punch down fold. The best way to punch down is uh, look at the air hole on the cup and punch on top of that. So when you're folding on the air hole, it's uh, easier for the cup to open when it goes inside. I've folded the cup with a punch down fold and um, this is the vaginal opening. So you insert the cup like this inside and push it in and when you leave, it will pop open like that and form a seal with the vaginal walls like this. So now the entire cup should be just inside your vaginal opening. If a little bit of the stem is also outside, it might irritate you while you walk. So you have to make sure you push it all the way deep in so that the stem is also inside. In case you inserted the cup, with a fold and it did not open it stays like that inside you'll feel a little you'll feel a little dent in the cup and of course it will not form a good seal with your walls and it might leak so if you're feeling the dent and the cup has not opened up there are a few ways to open it and I've done more detailed separate videos as well but I'll quickly tell you uh, the most easiest way to do is you pinch the base of the cup like this a few times and then it will just pop open like that. One very important thing we need to consider while inserting the cup is the direction in which we insert it. So uh, our vaginal canal is not vertically straight like this and that's what uh, mostly people end up doing is that they fold the cup and they try to insert it vertically upwards like that and then they find it difficult or painful to insert because uh, our vaginal canal is actually tilted slightly tilted towards the back at an angle like this. So if you're trying to insert the cup up like this, it won't go in. So we need to insert the cup in a direction like this. What we can do is uh, try to insert the finger in first. So you get an idea of which angle we need to insert the cup and then it will be a lot easier for you to know and you can slide it in like that. So now once the cup is inserted properly, you can leave it in till the time it gets full. So once it's full or you've been wearing it for 8 to 10 hours, you need to take it out, wash it with plain water and wear it again. So to remove the cup, you need to slightly move your index finger and thumb inside the vaginal opening. You'll find the stem of the cup or the base of the cup. 
and uh, you need to pinch it. The moment you pinch the base of the cup, air goes inside through the air holes and the suction of the cup with the vaginal walls is breaking, so it is easier to remove it. So once you pinch the base, you need to move it slightly left, right, left, right and pull it out like this and it comes out. Some people might find this a little uh, painful because the mouth of the cup is quite big and if you're taking it out of the vaginal opening, it can hurt. So to avoid that, once you pinch the base and you are doing it, you bring it a little lower and then with the help of your index finger and your thumb, you can fold the cup. So you insert, uh, so the cup is a little outside, the base of the cup is outside your vaginal opening. Then you insert your index finger and with the help of the index finger and the thumb, you bring it back into a C fold like this. So how we were inserting. So you bring it back into a C fold like this or a U fold. So you bring it back in, uh, you bring it back into this position of a C fold and so that makes the cup a little smaller and then you continue to take it out. So this won't be painful while removing. Once the cup is out, you just dump the contents into the sink or your toilet seat, wash it with plain drinking water or regular water and insert it again. Another thing I'd like to add here is uh, that this length is uh, different for different women. Some have a very high cervix, some have a low cervix, some have a medium cervix. So women with um, low to medium cervix tend to find their cup always just at the opening. So it's very easy. They just have to insert the finger a little bit. They'll find the cup there, they pinch and remove. But some women would have a very high cervix and the cup would have moved deep inside. So when they insert the finger, they can't feel it at all. And um, that is also totally normal. In fact, most women do have a very high cervix or a high cervix. So uh, if you can't feel the cup or its stem, there's nothing to worry about. And that is something actually very important. If you stress over it that I can't find the cup, it's gotten lost inside me, that makes your muscles uh, quite tight and tensed. Makes it even more difficult to remove the cup. So all you need to do is uh, squat on the floor that would uh, bring your uh, cervix a little lower and uh, push like you're pushing a baby out. So what these things would do is uh, bring your cup closer to the opening and then all you need to do is grab hold of the base, pinch it and remove like we've already discussed. So the most important tip I'd like to give is uh, to stay calm while using a menstrual cup, whether you're inserting it or removing it. The more you stress over it, the more your muscles will uh, get tensed up. So just relax and go for it, you'll be fine.